Hi, I'm Sohail and today I'm going to talk about mitosis and we will focus on process of mitosis, mitotic phase, types of microtubules and cytokinesis. Mitosis is a nuclear division that produces two genetically identical daughter nuclei and each containing the same number of chromosomes as the parent nucleus. So, this is a cell that undergoes mitosis and it produces two daughter cells. In each daughter cell, the number of chromosomes are same as compared to parent cell. Mitosis that is controlled by a process which is called cell cycle. What is cell cycle? Cell cycle are the stages through which a cell passes from one cell division to next. They are collectively referred as cell cycle. So, this is the cell cycle. It consists of two stages. One is mitotic phase and the second one is interphase. Interphase that is also known as dark period. An interphase is further divided into three sub stages that is G1, S and G2. G1 stands for gap 1 where cell growth takes place. S stands for synthesis where DNA replication takes place. G2 is gap 2 where cell growth takes place. Now, this cell is ready to enter into cell division and cell division that takes place here in mitotic phase and this mitotic phase that consists of mitosis and cytokinesis. So, this is the cell cycle which controls all the changes taking place in a cell. Behavior of chromosomes in plant cells is identical to that in animal cells and the mitotic phase which is a multi step process and during which duplicated chromosomes are aligned, separated and then move into two new identical daughter cells. And in actively growing plant and animal cell, cell cycle that completes from 8 to 20 hours. Mitotic phase, it consists of two stages, one is mitosis, second is cytokinesis. Mitosis that is also known as karyokinesis in which division of nucleus takes place and in cytokinesis division of cytoplasm takes place. Mitosis it consists of prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Prophase that is the first stage and the chromosomes which appear in prophase stage that is present in this form that is a duplicated chromosome because as we know the replication of DNA that takes place in the dark period in S sub stage and that is why each chromosome that has two sister chromatids. But in non dividing cells chromosomes they are present in the form of thin thread like structure that is called chromatin. And when the cell is entering into cell division, then this chromatin it condense that becomes shorter and thicker and takes the shape of chromosome. As we know that chromosomes they are present in pair form and these chromosomes are known as homologous chromosomes. Homologous chromosomes are the chromosomes which are similar in their size, shape and position of centromere. They are called homologous chromosomes. And in suppose this is one chromosome, in, in this chromosome these two are called sister chromatids because they are attached to same region that is called centromere. But these two chromatids for each other they are called non sister chromatids because they are attached to different centromere. So, centromere is the region where chromatids are attached and chromosome it is composed of DNA and protein that is called histone that is present in the chromosome. So, homologous chromosomes that is the pair of chromosomes and uh, in this pair we can see the sister chromatids which are attached to the centromere 
and uh, in this pair actually one chromosome is contributed by father and second chromosome is contributed by mother. So, one chromosome is paternal and second chromosome is maternal. Then the structure of chromosome as we know that chromosome it has sister chromatids which are attached to the centromere and chromosome it is composed of DNA and protein that is called histone and uh, centrioles. In animal cell two centrioles they are present at right angle to each other, but in plant cell centrioles are absent. So, these two centrioles they divide into two daughter centrioles during the interface stage and they start their movement towards the opposite poles. When these centrioles they move towards the opposite poles in between opposite moving centrioles here fibers are formed and these fibers are called spindle fibers as well as aster fibers. These are the microtubules. So, spindle fibers, centrioles and astral fibers these are made up of microtubules and they are collectively known as spindle apparatus. And centrioles as we know they are absent in plant cell they are only present in animal cell. In non dividing cells chromosomes are present in the form of thin thread like structure that is called chromatin network. In dividing cells they condense and they, ta they take the shape of chromosome and centrioles they divide into two daughter centrioles and they move towards the opposite poles. And when these centrioles they are moving towards the opposite poles then mitotic spindle they start to appear between the opposite moving centrioles this is prophase stage. And second identification of prophase stage is nuclear membrane is still present around the chromosomes. When nuclear membrane disappear that is the end of prophase stage and start of the next stage that is metaphase stage. Microtubules, there are three types of microtubules are there. One is kinetochore microtubules, second is polar microtubules, they are also known as non kinetochore microtubules and the third one is astral microtubules. Polar microtubules they extend, you can see here polar microtubules that is uh, the blue color. So, these polar microtubules they extend from each pole to the equatorial region where they overlap and interact with non kinetochore microtubules from the opposite pole. So they, so, they only overlap each other in the equatorial region and kinetochore microtubules these are kinetochore microtubules and they, they extend from each pole and they are attached to the chromosome at their kinetochore region. And the third one is known as astral microtubules, these are astral microtubules and they are short microtubules and they form asters at each pole. So, what is kinetochore? We know that sister chromatids they are attached to the same centromere, this is the region that is called centromere. And this centromere it has a disc like structure and that disc like structure is called kinetochore where these microtubules are attached. So, these microtubules are called kinetochore microtubules because they attach to the kinetochore region of the centromere. So, this is one chromosome that has two sister chromatids attached to the same centromere and this centromere it has disc like structure it is more clear here. So, this is the disc like structure that is called kinetochore where kinetochore microtubules are attached. Next is metaphase stage. In metaphase stage nuclear membrane that disappears and spindle fibers that is the kinetochore microtubules and non kinetochore microtubules and astral microtubules and centrioles they organized at the center of the cell where the chromosomes are going to align that is the metaphase stage. So, when chromosomes they align at the cells mid plan that is known as metaphase stage and chromosomes they are more prominent in metaphase stage than at any other time. Kinetochore 
there is a small disc like structure where the kinetic or microtubules are attached and uh, these structures actually the kinetic or that is the site where the microtubules are attached. So, this is metaphase stage in metaphase stage we can see that kinetic or microtubules they are attached to the chromosomes non kinetic or microtubules which are called polar microtubules they just overlap here in the in the middle and astral microtubules they are present uh, uh, at the poles and uh, chromosomes they are aligned in the center of the cell that is called metaphase plate that is the cells mid plan this is the identification of metaphase stage and chromosomes are more prominent in metaphase stage. Next is anaphase stage in anaphase stage each chromosome that arranged at the metaphase plate is split into two daughter chromatids and each daughter chromatid is called here daughter chromosomes. Like here this is one chromosome and this chromosome it has one centromere and this centromere it has a disc like structure that is called kinetochore where kinetochore microtubules are attached and these kinetochore microtubules actually they are made up of a protein that is called tubulin protein and this tubulin protein is contractile in nature. So, when this tubulin protein it contracts like the kinetochore microtubules they contract they exert pressure here at the centromere. So, the centromere it divides into two daughter centromere and later on the chromatids they start to be pulled apart by the microtubules and in this way one chromosome it divides into two daughter chromosomes and these chromosomes they begin their migration towards the opposite poles when the chromosomes they are moving towards opposite poles that takes place in anaphase stage. So, this is anaphase stage where the chromosomes they are moving to opposite poles. Next is telophase stage. In telophase stage chromosomes they arrive they reach at the opposite poles nuclear membrane that reappears. So, when nuclear membrane reappears it is mean one parental nucleus that is divided into two daughter nuclei which is called mitosis and these chromosomes they decondense to form chromatin network and spindle microtubules they disappear and nuclei they reorganize inside the nucleus. So, the nuclear membrane that is going to reappear around the chromosomes so that one nucleus it is divided into two daughter nuclei that is called mitosis or karyokinesis cytokinesis that is the division of cytoplasm. It is different in animal cell and plant cell. In animal cell a contractile ring that appears which is attached to the plasma membrane and this contractile ring it consists of actin and myosin filaments. So, these actin and myosin filaments that is present in the contractile ring it gradually contracts and meets at the middle so that the cytoplasm is divided into two daughter cytoplasm in general the cell is divided into two daughter cells. So, this is cytokinesis in animal cell. In plant cell cytokinesis that takes place with the help of a structure which is called cell plate. Cell plate it is also known as phragmoplast and this phragmoplast or cell plate that appears at the middle of the cell then it gradually grows toward the cell wall. As we know in plant cell the outermost layer is cell wall. So, during cytokinesis when the cell plate it is growing towards the margin of the cell towards the peripheral region then it also produces primary cell wall and middle lamella. Middle lamella that is a cementing layer that holds all the plant cells together in the plant body. So, the cell plate it divides the cytoplasm in plant cell into two daughter cytoplasm and this is cytokinesis in plant cell that initiates at the middle of the cell then it moves towards the periphery. So, in plant cell cytokinesis that divides the cell cytoplasm into two daughter cells.
So mitosis that produces two daughter cells and these two daughter cells they are genetically identical to the parent cell. To sum up mitotic phase that consists of mitosis and cytokinesis. Mitosis that is the division of nucleus which is also known as karyokinesis. And this mitosis it consists of these four stages that is prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Cytokinesis that is the division of cytoplasm and cytokinesis is different in animal cell and plant cell. There are three types of microtubules present in a cell that is kinetochore microtubules which are attached to the chromosomes, polar microtubules or non kinetochore microtubules they are not attached to the chromosomes and the third one is astral microtubules. I have a question for you. What is the stage of mitosis in this cell? Early prophase, late prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. <coughs> 